Daya Shankar, a small farmer from Itawa U, didn't just take his own life, he took his family's lives as well. Debt has once again claimed lives, crushed by a mounting debt of around 3 lakh and relentless pressure from money lenders. Daya Shankar made his family drink cold drinks laced with poison. Today he and his daughters are no more, while others are battling between life and death. It's said that the farmer was so overwhelmed by the threats from money lenders that he saw death as a relief from life's hardships. Daya Shankar's heartbreaking story is not just an isolated tragedy. It's the grim reality faced by the countless small farmers across the India. Reports suggest that his anguish mirrored the silent suffering of 90% of our farmers who are trapped in a vicious cycle of loss and debt. Their struggles are further compounded by a national crisis where 50% of farming families are burdened with overwhelming debts and the average monthly income of a farmer barely surpasses rupees 10,000. Despite Narendra Modi's promise to double farmers' income by 2022, the average income remains a meagre of rupees 27, a stark contrast to the unfulfilled promise and ongoing neglect. Daya Shankar's tragedy and countless others is a harsh reminder of the Modi government's failure to regulate money lenders and address the critical issues faced by those who sustain our nation.